Hey guys, and welcome to the Made It For May May series, which is a collection of videos created by seven of my YouTube friends in order to give me a little holiday vacation and allow you to meet some folks you may not know from around YouTube. Today's video is brought to us by Simply Sam. Sam is also my daughter-in-law, and she does the cutest quirky little crafts on her channel, and so she has done for you today a cute little ornament, which she was inspired to do by a link she saw on Pinterest, and I'll be sure to link that below for you. Be sure to go and subscribe to Sam's channel so you don't miss any of her adorable crafts. And without further ado, here's Sam. Hey everybody, welcome back to Simply Sam. I'm actually not on my own channel today, but my sweet, sweet mother-in-law, May May. Hi, May May. Um, and hi all of May May's subscribers. I'm so happy to be here this week for the Made for May May series. Um, so yeah, today we're going to make um, an ornament with some popsicle sticks and some paint and I'm really excited. Hopefully my mom will want to put this on her subby tree. We'll see how it goes. Can't wait to give it to her next week. Um, so yeah, first thing I'm going to do is take some white acrylic paint. I love Americana paint and it was on sale the other day at Hobby Lobby. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and coat all of my popsicle sticks with my white paint. And I'm doing about 14 or 15 um, popsicle sticks. Um, you'll see why in just a minute. And I've already painted a few popsicle sticks. Just thought I'd do some with you guys also. P.S. Welcome to my new craft space. Some of you guys know that we moved about a month ago. Um, so yeah, now my craft space is a lot bigger than it used to be. But it's in a little closet type thing. Hopefully it's working out well for filming. This is my first try on filming in here. So yeah, we're just going to give these a good little coat. I'm not too worried about the edges, like the ends here, because they're going to be covered up. And also the edges, not too worried. They're going to be stuck pretty close together. I might go ahead and give those a second coat, just to make sure they look super duper white. So I'm going to let these dry for a little while, and then I will come back and put my ornament together and finish up the project with you. Alright, and we're back. So, um, I have all my popsicle sticks here. Most of them have been painted just on one side, but I do have two that I've painted on both sides. And they're going to be the top and bottom portion of our craft ornament. So, <laughs> we're going to start putting this together. Um, and I actually got this inspiration from a pin on Pinterest that I'm going to put a link in my description, or May May will, when she puts it on her channel. Um, but basically we're going to take one of the popsicle sticks that has been painted on both sides, and we're going to start gluing popsicle sticks um, down with the nice side facing down um, to create kind of a palette look with our popsicle sticks. Of course I'm using art glitter glue. Shout out to the good stuff. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm gluing the front side where the paint is and just sticking it down on the back of my popsicle stick. So you can see now where I painted both sides just so it would look a little nice. I don't know if it really matters. But at the end, if I wanted to go ahead, I probably will go ahead and paint the back sides of these sticks white. I won't have any problem doing that in any wood parts showing. So I don't know if I mentioned where my pen came from, but it's um, called the Crafted Sparrow. And honestly, I was just looking through. Christmas time is my favorite on Pinterest specifically because I get so, so, so many good ideas of ornaments and you know, home decor, things like that to make. So yeah, love, love this idea. Palettes are super in right now too, especially with Christmas decor. I love the ones that say, you know, it'll have the palette and then on each line of the palette it'll say like, oh come let us adore him and be in the shape of a tree or, you know, just in the regular square shape. I think those are so, so, so cute. Hopefully I have enough popsicle sticks. I tried to make more than I needed. And if they peek out on the top a little bit, you know, I think it would be okay. Palettes aren't supposed to be perfect anyway. 
they look better the more rough they get. Alright, so now I'm going to carefully, carefully flip that over. And this glue should still be a little wet if I need to kind of maneuver anything. But it looks like I did okay. So now we're going to take our last popsicle stick that's painted on both sides. And just run our line of glue all the way down it. I put a lot because I want it to stay really well. Okay. Perfect. So as you can see, this makes a nice little palette type look. It's not, you know, exactly the same. But it creates a wonderful little backdrop for the sentiment that we're going to put on here. So I'll go ahead and tell you about that. Um, basically what I've done is used contact paper and I put it on my Cricut mat and cut out um, a little sentiment that I made on Design Space. I'm finally getting to play with my Cricut, you guys, and I absolutely adore it. It is my favorite thing in the world. So I'm going to go ahead and peel off the contact paper that will hopefully reveal a little stencil that I've created. Okay, so as you can see, it says Peace on Earth and some cute little writing. And I could pull out these middle parts, but I don't think I'm going to. I think it'll look more like it's been painted on here. Now I'm going to take my contact paper stencil, stick it on there. It's not going to be perfect. That's kind of the look I'm going for, though. I am going to smooth down these edges really well just so no paint seeps through on my contact paper. Make sure that's sticking okay. Alrighty. So now I'm going to bring over my little makeshift printer paper palette here. And I have some red Americana paint. It's called Santa Red. Yes, I picked this out specifically for this project. So I'm going to go ahead and squirt a little bit on my paper here. And I'm just going to paint a pretty thin layer um, on my ornament. Nothing too intense. Because I definitely don't want any paint to seep through the edges of my stencil. This is so, like, rustic, but not too rustic. I like to think of myself as a clean, rustic style sometimes. <laughs> If that even makes sense. I don't think it does. But Okay. I'm going to let that dry just for a second. Okay. I'll let that dry. And while we're letting it dry for a second, I'm going to go ahead and cut my twine. So I just have some regular old rustic looking twine here. I'm going to measure it just a little. I'd like it to hang about like that. Cut a little extra. And we're just going to adhere this to the back in a second. I could probably do it while this is still drying a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to put a little dab of glue here. A little dab of glue here. The good news is these are kind of frayed a little bit already, so they will stick well. Alright, so I'm just going to place my ornament on there. I think it should work. Alright, we're going to peel off our stencil here. Hope it turned out pretty well. We got this. We got this. Boom! A little dabble here, but it still looks great. Alrighty, friends. That probably could have come out a bit cleaner, but I still think it's super cute. I may go back later and do some little touch-ups with the white paint. But you get the general idea for our palette ornament, and those stick on the back nicely. And like I said, you could go back and paint this white part. So yeah, you can put any kind of sentiment on here, use some glitter paint, um, anything that you want to do. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this week's craft on Made It For May May. And I hope to see you very soon on my channel. Be sure to subscribe and follow me also. Um, but thanks to May May for letting me participate. And be sure to stick around next week for all of the awesome YouTubers that are participating in the series also. I'll talk to you guys very, very soon. Bye!